Hey guys, so we had this, I had this crazy idea at uh, 9 o'clock at night Saturday to see if we could do a leakage to outside blower door test on a section of the house. Similarly to how you do leakage to outside with a duct tester and a blower door mm -hmm. at the same time. But since we happen to have two blower doors here simultaneously, the one that I brought from home and yours, Oddly enough, different brands too. Yeah, so um, we've got an opportunity to do this that as soon as tomorrow morning rolls around, I'll never get again until I invest in a second blower door or something. Or you get another geek staying at your house. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this is a once in a long time opportunity that I wanted to make. So what we're doing here is setting up this door to put my master suite under suction we've got my door in the front door of the house which is going to put the house under a 50 pascal test what we're going to do with this door is get it set to zero which is the same test we did on the ductwork that you saw previously or in this video somewhere yep. it will have been posted by the time i post this one um so that's what we're going to do I'm gonna get my door fired up and then we're gonna fire this one and bring it up to zero and what we're aiming for is showing a specific CFM leakage to outside from your master suite specifically which is, is that the leakiest part of the house it is the leakiest part of the house and that's what got this started I said okay we've got a 38 of 50 I believe it was 38 of 50 it was it, it, a high percentage of my master is connected to outside. Yeah. And so I wanted to understand exactly how much CFM that was. Mm -hmm. Because a percentage of 50 simply says it's the worst. But it doesn't tell me exactly what it is. So it wasn't good enough for you to just close the door and check the reading down there. No, we have to set up two blower doors and try to figure this crap out. <laughs> anyway, enough, enough about the setup. We're going to go ahead and do it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy <laughs> All right, so we're going to set this set pressure to 50. Sir, we're correct, and it's not enough leakage to. I got to go to C ring. Actually, I'm going to turn it off. Switch to my uh, uh, C ring. Yeah. So I finally get to try it. Yeah. You never played with it before? No. You have to have an awfully tight house before it becomes an issue. Okay. I don't deal with tight houses. <laughs> <laughs> not until the project's done, right? Well, even then, they're not that tight. Yeah. So, so it's nice that I actually bought this and we'll get to try it. That's amazing. I've never actually had it in.
would make some kind of sense. Maybe. Well, that, that number at least jives for what that space could be leaking. Right. Uh, Are we pegged down? Yeah. So we're not going to get to 50 on a C-ring? Down we go. Okay, I'll get a time average for you. Let's average over five seconds. Okay, so let's go see what the downstairs is. Or the front door. Now we're pressurizing the master to 50. And the house is depressurizing to 50. So... That cuts off 1600. That about adds up because the house was about 2100 overall, right. right? So 550 plus 1650 is 2100. So yeah. that adds up. Interesting. We ended up depressurizing the house and pressurizing the master. That was the only way we could get any numbers. Yep, that got us a reading at least. That dropped my front door blower to 1650 and change. Mm -hmm. From 2100. From 2100, and it showed a 550, roughly, upstairs leakage in the master suite by pressurizing the master suite and depressurizing the house overall. And you have me on four hours of sleep, so I'm trying to chew through <laughs> this and figure out what the heck's going on, but, so, but the numbers add up. The numbers make sense, but it doesn't jive with what happens when you do a duct leakage to outside. Mm -hmm. So it's it's questionable. It's interesting information to me regardless. We're screwing around on a Saturday night. What the heck? <laughs> we have issues. It's okay. This is what home performance guys do. <laughs> Give us all too many tools and we'll be like, hey, so what can we test when we have two blower doors in the house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check out NateTheHouseWhisperer.com. And Nate the House Whisperer YouTube channel. Nate the House Whisperer YouTube channel. He's working on a lot of new content for that channel that will be worth checking out. If you'd like to support the channel, please feel free to visit patreon.com slash Stephen Reardon. Bye, guys. I had the opportunity to get a hold of a second blower door through the local RetroTech representative so that I can attempt the test that you had seen previously in this video with a little bit more information. What I realized the morning after we did that test was that we were referencing the wrong zone. We were using the blower door in the master suite as if it was a blower door in the front door. And what we need to do is have the A plus channel referencing the space inside the master rather than using the A- minus channel to reference the space. We have done a zonal pressure test for the master that shows a 38 of 50. So we know it's the most leaky section of the house and my curiosity is to find out how many CFM of leakage 38 of 50 is. If I can get that information I feel like over time I can develop an average where if the house has so many leakage points and then my zonal pressure test gives me a certain number out of 50, I'll have a system to be able to extrapolate, if you will, how many CFM a 38 of 50 zonal pressure test is. It's what I'm going to be calling a zonal leakage test using two blower doors to find specific leakage in a zone of the home. So we're going to go ahead and Set the door to 50, get that number, and then we'll move on to the master zone. At 50, we are showing 1915 CFM of leakage. We've got a 16 Pascal pressure difference right now. Almost 17, we're going to set pressure to zero. And 
I think that this is much closer to correct, correct where we are depressurizing the house as well as depressurizing the space. As you can see, zero pascal, so we're equalized across the master in this room, and our CFM of leakage is coming out 374, almost 375, 375 CFM of leakage specifically in the master to the outside. So apparently in this situation, 38 of 50 is almost 380 CFM. I like it. I feel like the test that we did today is repeatable and that's half of the battle when it comes to testing. You want to be able to repeat it. The numbers that we got originally definitely don't make a comparison that is logical. If you're looking for any of the tools that we've used in this video, you can visit truetechtools.com and use the coupon code R-A-R-D-O-N to get 7% off your purchase. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you on the next video.